Hello everybody, this is Bergback coming to you with another StarCraft 2 commentary. And in this matchup we will be going against Tarsen spawning as the blue Terran against MYM Sunny spawning as the Red Zerg, otherwise known as Hydra. We are in game two of a round of five here between the two in the semifinals for the Intel Extreme Masters. The winner, of course, going on to the finals and the loser going to the third and fourth place match. And the winner going for a $5,000 prize pool in Cologne, Germany, right now. And we did see in the first game, uh, Idra show the force of his Zerg. And of course, we all know that Idra is a little antsy against going against Terrans. We saw a lot of his rage a couple weeks ago. But it looks like he's really putting the hurt on the Terran uh, forces that he's been going against with. He has won against every Terran force that he's, he's come across in the IEM so far. So, I don't know if we'll see any different with this matchup. He is, of course, ahead one to nothing right now in this best of five. And we did see Tarson try and go out with a, uh, a Reaper Rush on Hydra. And Hydra, I think, is starting to adapt to that build. He has seen that so much right now uh, go against him that he has finally adapted and been able to, to come across and, and take hold of the Terran Force as he was coming in and just take down all those Reapers with surrounds on Zerglings and uh, just go in the Roaches really quick and just go in and Tarsen's base on the back door and blistering sands there and just take him down. So as we go into game two here, Idra is, is a little bit ahead and Tarsen really needs to change his strategy, I think, to beat Idra right now. So we do see the racks coming up here in the front on the ramp. We have seen Tarsen cut his ramp off all the time and it uh, looks like Idra coming in here and a short rush distance between the two bases Idra sees how close Tarsen is is probably saying this is not good at all <laughs> and uh, looks like Idra just coming in scoping out what's going on inside the base saying hey what can I exploit here and it looks like yeah he's going for that extractor uh, again he did that in game number one but it looks like Tarson's a little ahead of the game here, and we'll be able to take this extractor down a little bit earlier. And it looks like uh, Tarson coming up here trying to stop the early expand from Hydra. Always a hallmark move from Hydra. If you can, if you can stop his expansion, you can usually beat him. But it looks like oh, these Zerglings coming in, and it looks like Tarson's going to be forced out here as Hydra will be able to build his expansion early on into the field. Now we do have a little bit of change up here. Very good here, Tarson. Changing it up. Building a factory here. Going to be walling off this. Yeah, he's going to finish that wall off with a supply depot. And this extractor almost down. It's bleeding all over the place, all over for Tarson's base. And uh, there goes the extractor. So it looks like we are now going to be able to go into full production here on Tarson's side with another uh, Vespian geyser. And this queen getting ready to go down into this expansion with a spine crawler as well. It looks like he's getting ready for some kind of Hellions here with that spine crawler, knowing that this factory is here and producing something. He's getting ready for it. So we do have some Hellions coming out here, getting ready to push off. We do have one already going out, getting ready to go against Idris forces. The metabolic boost coming down on those Zerglings. Very good advantage there for Idra to have that. A queen coming down here just to take the brunt of the hits. And say, hey, I'm here to kill you, Hydra. And incoming with the Marines and that SCV just coming down. And bye-bye, uh, Mr. SCV. You were really nice to know. And another SCV taking it in the face from those Zerglings as more forces for Tarsen start coming up. And uh, more Hellions in here starting to burn the Zergling, uh, the Queens down. Another two Queens down. That is a big hit for Hydra there as his spine crawler trying to submerge before it gets killed. And it does get down. It looks like one, yeah, one Hellion goes down, but the the uh, Marines and that Hellion are able to take that one spine crawler down. As all Hydra is now making is more and more Zerglings to try and push Tarson back as much as possible. Of course, this flame doing really nice work here against Hydra's forces. And that one Hellion just trying to get away as much as possible. And now a complete wall off here, and uh, Idra knowing he can't get up has to retreat with more uh, more Hellions coming out here for, for Tarson. And we do see some uh, 
with this 111 build here, and I'm going to keep saying 111. I know people are going to leave comments down below about a Destiny Cloud Fist build. I'm not going to call it that, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say that right now. So we do see Hellions coming out. We do see a cloak coming out for those those banshees as the zerglings start coming up again i don't know what they're doing they're just trying to get up there but it's not going to happen as we see this banshee now starting to come around he could uh i don't think i don't think at all that idra saw them coming out so he tarson may have a little bit of an advantage here against uh idra as this is going in here but i think he now yeah he does see it now he does see that that banshee coming down he saw that little bit of blue, and the Banshee coming in to the uh, expansion here, that Queen backing off, and in comes Tarzan with this Banshee, getting hit a little bit by that Queen, but taking out three uh, drones already, four drones, that's a, a nice hit for Tarzan, stopping uh, Idra's economy just a little bit. Every little bit counts here against Idra, I must say that right now. And we are having a tech lab come down, so we may see some Marauders coming out. I don't think we're going to see Reapers. I think Tarson learned his lesson here. Of course, it, we're not early on anymore, so we'll probably see some Marauders start coming out here. And these, uh, he's now has two uh, Banshees out here with the Cloak, so we might see some backdoor action here coming up from Tarson just to aggravate Hydra even more. We do have some hy a Hydraless Den coming down as well. And Stimpak with Marauders now being a reality. So it looks like we're we're now getting ready to expand. We see that wall off go away, and uh, and Tarson starting to get in his comfort zone here as we're we're moving on. And Nidra just sending out one little zergling just to scout out. And these poor little SCVs getting hit, but these Hellion definitely taking care of business here with that one zergling. We see these Hellions starting to come up here. And these two Banshees starting to move out on the side as they cloak going into Hydra's base. And this could be devastating for Hydra right now. Going after that Queen. Nothing to detect right now on Hydra's base. And Hydra, knowing this, goes with the GG and calls it quits early on here in game number two. Going to Tarson. So we're now up 1-1. In this matchup, best of five at the Intel Extreme Masters. Please make sure to leave any kind of feedback down below. Please make sure to subscribe, and we will see you all for game number three.